What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So it looks like we know now when the Scream 6 trailer will drop. It looks like, I repeat, it looks like nothing has officially been flat out stated, but clues and just the simple fact that it seems to be a subliminal message would pinpoint that this is when we're going to get the trailer. Now, as you see here on your screen, there's an image over on the uh, Scream Twitter account page that was shared, a tweet that was shared earlier today with the caption of looks like we have a spill clean up on aisle one and 19 gonna need a mop and a body bag now here's the thing if you go into this image and zoom in and kind of look at over on the far left there's an image that has 119 on it and then the thing about 119 we all know that there is a 119 coming up it is january 19th 2023 which is a 119 when you dumb it down and if you don't include of course the year 2023 that would be the date 119 so this is the assumption many people are making as it pertains to when this trailer will be dropping the reason this is happening also is because if you actually go over to the instagram page where they shared the same uh post melissa barrera and i, be I believe also leona liberardo but more specifically melissa barrera left a comment going off of what was posted saying i see what you did there again a slight nudge to the fact that we're going to get something on january 19th and we're going to need a mop and a body bag the only thing i can think of that will be dropping on a tuesday or a thursday would be a trailer so here's what i have to say about that i do think that we are going to end up getting that trailer next week even though they didn't flat out stated i believe we now know the date the reason i believe we now know the date is because of the fact that a i'll just use myself really quick one shout out to the person who told me this yesterday and something i was told a few days prior i was told a few days prior i'll start with the first thing that a trailer would be dropping the week of the 16th that's what i was told then yesterday i was flat out told the trailer would be dropping on the 19th and then today you get a post like this from the scream account saying they're going to need a cleanup on aisle 1 and 19. The only 119 that is coming up again is January 19th of 2023. Now, along with this trailer, I would imagine you're going to get some official steals. You're going to get another cast interview, maybe a new interview from the directors. Oh my gosh, I just realized we're going to get our first look at Kirby Reed. How glorious is that day going to be if this actually is the date that we get the trailer? But again, you heard it here. I'm telling you that what I was told was that the, the trailer will be dropping the week of the 19th. That is not to say that it actually will or i meant to say the week of the 16th i was told it would drop the week of the 16th then yesterday i was flat out told it'll drop on the 19th then today the scream account just coincidentally put out a post like this and is they're not being blatant with it it's a it's clearly a subliminal message they're having fun with people in the comment section telling them to drop the trailer they're saying they'll drop it when they feel like it etc you know i'm excited for this i think clear as day now we know that the trailer is going to be coming on Thursday of next week. So what will this trailer contain? So what I hope this trailer will contain is again, chase scenes, dialogue to tease and hype up the mystery of the evidence is being stolen from the past movies, past sprees, uh, and just scenes to get us introduced to the new characters maybe. That's what I would hope to see the most of in this trailer. Nothing that really can give away who the killers are, what their motive is, how many there are, if there's multiple, even because of course there could be one, who's dying, who's surviving, even though some of us already kind of have an idea off of some logical assumptions we can make who is going to live and who can die. We don't want the trailer to flat out tell us who it is. Now I say that also wanting to remind people to not do this. Do not, after some of you I've seen have been hammering for this trailer to come out, do not watch the trailer one time, rewind it multiple times, dissect it over and over again, pinpoint all these little things you definitely cannot pinpoint from just a simple one time viewing and then turn around after begging for this trailer and then say, oh, they spoiled the movie. No, they didn't flat out spoil the movie. Somebody flat out went out of their way after begging for a trailer to be dropped, they took time to go after the trailer, freeze frame it, crop it, speculate on it, 
match it up with other bits from the trailer and pinpoint and solve the puzzle before the movie is even officially released and then blame the trailer for showing too much and again i get the act the aspect of maybe they shouldn't be showing this stuff at all in a trailer for us to freeze frame and decipher what it means i get that too but if you know how these trailers are why are you actively going to contribute to the problem that you know exists do not be that person if you don't want the movie spoiled just do not pick apart the trailer now i will say this i do plan on picking apart that trailer because i don't care if i can decipher it i care about context knowing the movie front and back that's not going to really mean a lot to me context of what and how it's executed on screen that is what matters the most i can know something that sounds incredible on paper but then when i go watch how it's executed on screen it could be the it could be the biggest train wreck to ever exist in the last decade or the last century even just to be dramatic <laughs> So I am going to pick apart the trailer, but if you're someone who does not want to have this movie spoiled for you, do not be that person who says that trailer show too much and then go out of your way to do the very thing that you know would be contributing to the problem that you think exists today. You're going to go out and go out of your way to freeze frame it, crop it, decipher it, and then come back saying the trailer spoiled everything. <laughs> uh, it's just counterproductive to me. But yeah, I cannot wait for next week. I'm certain we will get the trailer on the 19th again. They did not flat out say that we will, given that I put in the title potential date. Uh, we did not flat out get told it will be dropping on January 19th. But again, I want to reiterate, I was told this trailer will be coming the week of the 16th. Then yesterday, I was told it would be dropping on the 19th. So we'll see what happens in the coming days and what they do to hype it up any further, if anything. I'm hoping that in the trailer, we just get to see sequences of Gale Weathers, Sam, Tara, maybe meet some new characters. Uh, maybe see some extended shots to kind of let people know whether or not Mindy will be dying in that subway sequence or not, at least in that instance, not knowing if she's going to die in the movie, but just know if she's going to live or survive that subway sequence. Let us see uh, chase scenes to tease those because they've been hyping up that hype up the gore. Let us see some gore sequences, teases of that, and just kind of show more of this new setting we're in because New York, I would use that to the full advantage, maybe even have a new Maybe have a cool song in the trailer too that pertains to New York. Maybe something related to Taylor Swift who I believe has a song titled New York. I believe she does. I haven't heard it in a while but I, I, I believe that is Taylor Swift. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. Do you think we're going to get that trailer on the 19th? Are you excited? Are you not excited? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.